All right, folks, I'm here with uh, Dr. Greg Brannon, and uh, you just got done with your uh, big tour. How was today? How'd things go? It was beautiful. Went to eight cities around the Blue Ridge area, talked to uh, the true people that matter, the true grassroots. Uh, we got our volunteers together, making phone calls, putting signs out. It's wonderful to see the true grassroots, which is the seed germinating, the long root system growing now, and being fertilized on the top with the right fertilizer. Senator Paul, Senator Lee, Glenn Beck, Eric Erickson, Freedom Works, Mac Hibby. It's the right merger. This is a wave that's coming. Uh, yeah, absolutely. And let's talk about that. Um, uh, Mike Lee was uh, in town the other day. I caught up with you guys. Uh, I was a little under the weather. I tried to make more of that. How was that, spending that time with uh, Mike Lee? I mean, the guy is uh, really uh, tea party before there was tea party. Yeah, Mike Lee, uh, I, I say we're, have, we're really forming a nice bond. A great kind of friendship, yeah, but working that way. He's a great man who just loves his family, loves God, loves this country, whether it's worth fighting for. He said a couple of things that were very humbling to me. He said, we're going to stop talking about Ronald Reagan and act like Ronald Reagan. And he backed our campaign. He also said the man that's closest in constitutional knowledge that he's ever talked to, closest to Greg Brandon, is Ted Cruz. That is humbling because we know Ted Cruz is a brilliant. Uh, and just to know those kind of things are phenomenal. I believe this race has given North Carolina a chance. Does our state want to have, let's say a Huckabee, who says Common Core is okay, just change his name. Or a, or a McConnell or a Lindsey Graham. Big government progressive R, but says that otherwise they run. That wants toll roads, that wants Obamacare is a good idea, then that's Tom. Yeah, well, real quick, that's a big deal now, that because North Carolina, uh, there's just Centra of Spain, a Spanish company, same ones that were setting up the NAFTA superhighway in Texas, are now going to be putting a toll road right next to my front door on I-77. What is your opinion on the public-private partnership toll roads? I think all conservatives agree that a toll road is a good thing uh, if it's done privately, but the public-private aspect of it. What are your thoughts it's on that? unacceptable. The public monies, the public strength of the government picking the private companies or the winners and losers is unacceptable. Free market is the way to go. If we had true public highways, where I mean private highways where a company has to go find the land, buy the private property land and build it, different ballgame. That'd be phenomenal. What this is, is the merger of the worst. It's the antithesis, the, the, the actually the apex of crony capitalism and let alone a foreign company unacceptable <laughs> yeah well uh, and uh, final thing uh, well maybe a couple more things but uh, I do got to ask you how was it meeting Glenn Beck I mean this guy is obviously phenomenal what he's doing walk away from millions of dollars to do his own thing to really bring out the message of the Tea Party this is what we were all begging for back in 2010 and now we actually have a chance to uh, you know, I think you got to pay like 10 bucks a month, but 10 bucks a month, you're on the internet and you actually get to see true Tea Party uh, reporting. He is a gentle man. He was so kind to myself and my lovely wife, but he is a warrior for individual liberty. He understands this is about this generation doing what it must be done for the next generation. Him, Matt Kibbe, are two of the most liberty warriors I've ever met that are given everything they have on the line for the future of this country. And then to watch them support men like Cruz and Lee and Paul to get the mechanism of the government, because the government is supposed to be our tool. The government is only legitimate if it protects the individuals and noble rights. I believe this state has an opportunity to get a Lee, Cruz, or Paul. Two of them have backed me, the only man in the, in the country they're backing together. We have an opportunity if we never waver on that Constitution, and it's been exciting. But Mr. Beck, what a phenomenal day. Well, yeah, so uh, I guess that's the final thing I will bring up is you got uh, Mike Lee here in the state with you. You uh, Obviously, Matt Kibbe came down here and endorsed you with Freedom Works, and that was a great event. Um, you just flew out to Dallas to be with uh, Glenn Beck and the Blaze and how uh, just just great team they've got there. Uh, DC, CPAC, you were with Rand Paul. Uh, how was that? And uh, what is your opinion of what uh, you know he's been able to do in galvanizing some of the uh, younger folks? And that's, you know, 
One of the problems that Republicans have is we have a problem with minorities and younger folks. Rand Paul seems to have been able to tap into that, and so have you. And so what was that experience like? It's awesome, awesome. These are all lovers of liberty, individual liberty. But back to the thing, how do you galvanize and form a coalition? You tell them the truth. The truth will set us free. And we understand again, the message of liberty and freedom is ageless, genderless, religious, cultural, it doesn't matter. We all bond on that one unity. America's second sunrise is right around the corner. Go to gregbrand.com. I truly appreciate this, guys. All right, man. Thank you so much, Greg. I appreciate it. Thank you.